So we want to create something new inside of Bitwig Studio 5.1 and I really promise, this time for real, I keep it super simple. Very simple, very easy to follow. So stick around, okay? So we insert here a Polymer device. Uh, insert a poly Polymer device and we use a Convolution Reverb in there. We also use Delay 2 um, and maybe also Peak Limiter. Okay, I think that's that's it for now. So this is uh, our sound device, sound creation device. And instead of nodes, we are creating a node grid. Inside of the node grid, we don't need the node in, but we want to use the pitch bus, which I roughly explained in some of my uh, last videos. And you can use this to easily uh, progress in certain intervals. And in our case, we use seven semitone steps. So fifths, fifth steps. And we want to also use here, instead of using a constant, which we can't modulate here, we use a value knob. But the value knob has a problem. It only ranges from zero to one. And this one takes in uh, integers, so one, two, three, four, five, right? So we need to scale this uh, signal up here by using a multiply and by using a constant. And I want to multiply this by 12, maybe. Okay, so this is now zero and this is 12. Okay, so now we can put this into the pitch bus and this goes out here to the note out. And we can trigger this with the triggers module just to test here what's going on. So we have, a, we have kind of something, some note. We can also use here a virtual, virtual note, virtual keyboard. So you can see if we play C3 at the moment, right? And then we increase the value. So we go up in seven semitone steps, but not really because uh, we are using floats here. So if you use here a readout, you can see, right, we have floats, but we need integers. So we can do this by just using a round module that rounds everything up and down to the next integer. So now we have here one, two, three, four, five, and so on, right? We can also put this here on bipolar mode so we can go down the negative range, okay? Sounds like this. So we can now circle around the circle of fifth with this. We step up and down in seven semitone steps because of the pitch bus, which is really neat. The only problem is that we exceed the current octave here pretty fast. You can see we go up here, then we are on G3, and then the next note is D4, right? So we are out of this octave between C3 and C4. We want to stay in this range. And we can do this by easy, or we can do this easily, actually, by using a multiply, so we multiply the pitch signal here. We also divide the pitch signal after that, and we use a wrapper in between. And we use a constant, and we do multiply this by exactly 10 and divide it by 10 here after the wrapper, which means the wrapper works basically in the range of minus one to plus one. And when we exceed this range, then it wraps the signal back into uh, the range again. Uh, but because the pitch signal is a bit different, the pitch signal range is also between minus one and plus one, but plus one is basically the highest octave, which is C13 or C7 or C8 or something like this. So way too high. So we increase this by 10. So now one octave ranges between minus one and plus one. Then we use the wrapper to wrap everything inside back into this uh, octave and then we divide again uh, by 10 to bring it back to the original scale. I hope this makes sense in a way, but um, this sounds like this. You can see we never go out of the range of C3 to C4. We always stay in this range, but we still get all the notes from the circle of fifth. So the first one is C, next one is uh, G, then D, then A, then E, and so on, right? So you can circle around the circle of fifths while 
staying in one octave. So you can make nice melodies with that. I can use a step sequencer here, put this on random, modulate the value thing here, hit play, change the rhythm, or maybe use a clock divider here to make it a bit more interesting. Go to 16 notes. Or instead of using seventh or, or seven semitones or fifth, you can also go to fourth and use five semitone steps. This also kind of rocks. So melody is a bit boring or making a melody is not that interesting, right? So we can extend this to make some chords with this. Um, so to make chords, uh, all you need is basically a root note, what we already have here. And then we create uh, three additional notes and use a transpose here. Um, we go up three, this is a minor third. This is the fifth of the, of the chord. And then it sounds like this. So you can circle around with chords, uh, in this case here with minor chords, around the circle of fifth, right? The problem here is when you have some notes, let's say here A sharp, you can see it, all the chord notes exceeding basically the range of C3 to C4, right? But we want to keep them here in the range. We want to create kind of inversions of these chords automatically to keep all the notes within this uh, range here. So what we have to do is we have to take this out here and use this for each note individually. So um, let's put this over here. So this is the first one, that's the root note. Uh, then we put this here and also uh, here. This goes in here, this goes there, this goes in here, this goes there. Right, so we take now each note and try to wrap this note inside of the C3 to C4 range. And it sounds much better because now we have kind of automatic inversions. I hope this makes sense. And on the circle of fifth, if you, if you want to switch to the relative minor, parallel minor, I think it's the relative minor, you have to go back three semitones and change the chord type. So we can do this here with the button and the modulator, right? And you use this here to switch to minor. And this one is already minor here yeah, because we have a minor third in there. So we switch this to major. We modulate this here to minus one. And we also need a transposer. To go to the relative minor. We have to go three semitones back. So, right, so we have C major and then the relative minor is A, A minor or C major is, is and then A minor is the relative minor. So we have to go back always three semitones. Um, so we do this here with the modulator, of course, minus three. So now we have major chords. You can circle around a major. And then you can switch to relative minor. I hope this makes sense. And we can also extend this by using, let's say, another root note here. But this root note is two octaves lower. So it's a bass note, basically, minus two. And you can see now we are extending, basically, here. We keep, we keep all the important notes within the C3. Uh, but the bass note here is two octaves lower.
And it's always nice because you just circle around the circle of fifths, so it make, makes it really easy. Uh, so we have here uh, a third, a major third. We have here the fifth. We can also extend this to seventh. So we go to 10 here, or maybe 11. And then for minor, we have, we have to also go back here one. That's one. Make this a, uh, make the major seventh a minor seventh. Sounds like this. So with just with the addition of this pitch bus, you can make now easy chord progression tools um, by just using abusing pitch bus basically to step up in certain intervals. You can also change this here, of course, to, to thirds maybe, or minor thirds or major thirds, or uh, like I said, in fourth or um, yeah, fifths is also a nice way of stepping up. Um, so yeah, this is basically idea I had here. I want to show you. Like I said, it's really simple. I put the preset in the description below so you can download it so you have, don't have to rebuild it. Uh, but this just as a small inspiration for you. Uh, next time, if you want to create some chords, you can just use this. Um, also, always when I show something like this, people ask me how do I can record this right into a MIDI track or a note track. So all you have to do is to create your new instrument track, um, arm that and use here um, tracks, polymer, node grid output, right? It's important that you go here to tracks down there, node grid, and then you just can record your everything that you play um, here in this thing, right? You can see it here in the background, then cycle around here with the snob and because we're using it to trick us with the clock quantizer you can't you know you can change this as, as fast as you want uh, only thing you have to uh, you have to be you have to take care of is basically that you stay next to the last um circle of fifth position right if you go from here to here then it sounds not so pleasant so you have to always keep this on the move smoothly um, so yeah, we can record this to a different track here and then um, cut out certain things you like or whatever you want to do with that. As you can see, uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, oh, we have some um, we have some pitch bends in there. We, we probably have to use um, in here. We have to use. Let's put this in. Uh, sample and hold to this. I think this works better. And we have to use here all the triggers. And that's it. Okay, so then we can also do stuff like um, changing the length of the of the gates here. Put this down to 10 milliseconds. So they are really short bursts. And then on the oscilloscope looks like this now. So we have just short bur bursts here, but we want to invert this and use a knot. So it looks like this. We have long gates and some interruptions in between. So we can use this for longer sounds. So we can use the sustain here. We could also use instead of minor, we can also use here maybe suspended. Um, suspended modulates um, the thirds here by minus four. So we are basically only at two or end up on two. And we need to disable this.
Yeah, it's a nice way of coming up with some chord progressions, maybe. I have no idea. I just want to show you this example here and how to use pitch bus and how to uh, make some interesting note devices with this or note grid devices. Like I said, I saved this as a preset, put it down in the description below so you can just download it and have some fun with it, okay? So if you liked the video, please leave a like, leave a subscription. Thanks for watching this video. As I said, it's very simple. <laughs> and see you in the next video. Bye.